Kids to Discover. Today we're reading from My Bible Journey by Mary Hollingsworth. Letters to the Churches When Paul arrived in Rome, he was not taken to see Caesar. He was allowed to rent a small house and live by himself. He wasn't put into prison, but he was guarded by a Roman soldier. Paul lived there for two years. During that time, Paul was also allowed to have visitors, to preach, and to teach about Jesus. No one tried to stop him, so he invited many people to his house, and he spoke bravely about Jesus, writing letters. During Paul's travels and his house arrest in Rome, he also wrote letters to the churches that he had started during his travels. The four letters that he wrote while in Rome are sometimes called the prison epistles because he wrote them while he was under house arrest. Special Letters Some of Paul's letters were written to some special people, such as the book of Philemon. Philemon had a slave named Onesimus who had run away. Onesimus came to Rome, and there he met Paul. Paul taught Onesimus about Jesus, and Onesimus became a Christian. Then Paul sent him back to Philemon with the letter that we call the book of Philemon. And in the letter, Paul asked Philemon, a Christian, to take Onesimus back, not as a slave, but as a brother in Christ. The letter from Paul to Philemon teaches us today how to treat each other. General letters. Some of Paul's other letters were written to all the churches. In those days, a letter was read by one church, then it was sent to another church, then to another, until all the churches had read it. Most people believe that the book of Ephesians was a letter for all the churches. In that letter, Paul showed how Jesus was the answer to God's promises and plans from the beginning of time. The letter also talked about a Christian's friendship with God. Messages of the letters Each letter Paul had written had a special purpose. Sometimes he wrote to help churches work out problems that they were having, such as Philippians and Corinthians. Other times, he wrote to teach someone about something. His letter to Timothy and Titus, who were preachers, were to help them know how to set up churches. Other letters were written to teach Christians how to live the right way. Even though these letters were written hundreds of years ago, they are still our very best guide on how to live for Christ today. You guys know what an epistle is? An epistle is a letter sent by an apostle. And that's what our story was about today. In the New Testament, there are 21 epistles. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for the epistles that you wrote through Paul and through all of the other disciples and apostles. We thank you that you gave us your word, God's word, so that we can continue to grow in you and learn how to love you more each and every day. Holy Spirit, we pray we walk with you. God, teach us with your word. And Jesus, guide us in each step we should take to be more like you and love like you each and every day. Amen. Amen, Kids Discover. Until next time, I'll see you later.